This is Ozark's Box AM. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time for the Cardin International Circus! Yay! I've always wanted to say that I'm not a ringmaster, but I pretend I play one on TV. You play one on TV. I play one. Hello, yes. welcome to Ozark's Box AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you so much for joining us. We are all decked out and so excited about the circus, which has been uh, coming to Springfield for a number of years. I want to say 40 years, is that correct? Lots of, lots of years and... It's always a great, great bunch of entertainment. So we are going to show you some of the things that are going to be happening today. And if you can't tell where we are, we are at JQH mm -hmm. Arena in Springfield. And look at all the prep and the, all the work that it takes to put on a circus. This is unbelievable yes. to see from this level. Usually, it really is. we're sitting in the stands looking down, and now it's like, wow. This yes. is so amazing. Yes, and they have new things all the time, and we're going to be experiencing some of those today. It's going to be such a great two hours. So we are really looking forward to all that we're getting into today. Is that right? Yeah, we're <laughs> going to, there's so much planned, so much excitement. Mm -hmm. We are going to risk our lives, I think, for uh, the circus. At least one of us. Because we're going to be training, <laughs> we're going to be doing some things, and. We're just so excited to be here. I mean, we've been looking forward to this. We've had two live shows this week, and it's just exciting for us to be here. And we want to thank the Cardin International yes. Circus for welcoming us here to get to see, like, a behind-the-scenes look. I was actually yes. backstage, and I got to see the cute little mini horse that I got to... Oh, It's so today? cute. Yes. Today? Oh What's the mini goodness. horse's name? Mini horse? Anybody? What is it? Flower. Flower. Oh, flower. I could not remember. I did a segment out at the training facility, I saw it. and the mini yeah. horse was practicing with the dogs. I saw that. And it was so cute. Oh, I love the animals in the circus. And uh, like we were talking about, it's crazy. All the animals that can be trained, like, like house cats. Mm hmm That's true. Are yours trained? No, they're not. <laughs> Maybe you need to lend them to the circus. They trained me. Yeah. You need to That's lend your cats and dogs to the circus, and they'll bring them back all trained up for you. Yeah. Uh, I do want to point out, Kelly, I went through my closet last night, and I found this, still had the tags on it, yes. and I said, you know what, if, if there ever was an appropriate <laughs> venue to wear this, yes. it's the circus, and I like how, you know, it does I the black it. and the red. So, so, uh, By the way, and it is red for National Wear Red right, Day for the American is. Heart Association, yes. so go red, go mo, red, and hashtag, and go red, mo. I've got a little there you right go. There. Yes. So if you are out and about, again, we are raising awareness for uh, heart disease mm -hmm. from the American Heart Association. Today's day. Hashtag go wear, go red mo. That's, That's it. it. Go, go red, red mo. mo. Yes. yes. Looks fantastic, Jeremy. Well, All thank right. You. This is fantastic. So so much for you. Right now, we're going to bring on Bardo, who is the ringmaster. He's Come the official in. guy. He's yes. the real one. Look at this guy. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Nice to see you. Thank you. I love your story. First of all, you've been involved in the circus for many years. Your family has been. Tell us about that. That's right. Uh, I come from eight generations of circus performers. Uh, we lived in Mexico when we first started. And actually, as I was mentioning earlier, 40 years ago, 1980, we were brought to this country, believe it or not, by Cardin International. Fantastic. This particular show. We, we traveled for a few years with them. Then we decided to go on other circuses, venture, you know, here or there, went, went uh, county fairs, state fairs, circuses, parks, and all that. And because I was like, okay, so we started on this show. I have to come back to this show. Four years ago, five years ago, I came back to this show. And I haven't been able to leave. I love it here. Uh, I love home. it here. Yes. yes, this is basically my home now. Awesome. So, Barry, you're the ringmaster. Yes, I am. But we were talking earlier before the show. You've done, you're a jack of all trades when it comes to the circus. You've done a lot of different things within the circus yes. the last four yes. years. Yes, I, I was a circus performer before I became a ringmaster. I was a daredevil. I did a little bit of from motorcycle riding to aerialist to just about, just about every, every, every um, circus kid that you could say because we grow up in the circus right. does a little bit of everything. Right. They want to try this, they want to try that because this is our, our playground. Mm -hmm. Now, some people think, oh, these kids never go to school. No, wrong. Okay. Wrong. Mm -hmm. There's a teacher. There's a teacher in the circus where all the kids that require school go to school. Actually, I, I, you can't hear, they're starting to walk in because you can hear the, the, the kids are starting to mumble. There's all the news, all the new interviews. <laughs> yeah, they're coming in for school right now, believe it or not. Oh, wow. And they have, they, they have a shorter day because it's a lot less kids than a regular school. Mm -hmm. And after they're done with that, this is a playground. They'll come in, they'll get on a trapeze, they'll get on, on a, a, a girl, you know, the girls that do the Spanish web, they call right, it. Yes. Uh, they'll do the tumbling, they'll do everything that's anything in the circus. And then they decide, well, I want to do this. 
you know. Okay. And when I started, I started as a flying trapeze artist, believe wow. it or not. I did the flying trapeze for a few years. Mm -hmm. I grew a little bit. <laughs> and so I decided not to do that anymore. <laughs> and then Cardin, uh, actually the Cardins gave me the chance to become the ringmaster. Nice. That's like the top of the top, yeah. the, you know, the yes. top of the pyramid because the word says it, ring master. master. When I blow the whistle, everybody's paying attention, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. This is your favorite position that you've ever done, the ringmaster. I can't say favorite, but this is the most prestige one I've had. <laughs> yes. This is the there one that go. I want to stay at. Because yes. you're kind of the glue. You have to keep it all going yeah. and moving and keep it together yes. from, from yes. segment to segment. <laughs> everything, everything has to, everything ha revolves around me. If something, if something, you know, go, goes wrong for some reason, they, they're not in time, I have to blow the whistle uh -huh. and jump in and try to fix it somehow. I'm sure like you guys do right. sometimes, you sometimes. know, you're doing something, they say, oh, we got it, it went wrong, oh, back to me, you know. You got to know how to land on your feet. Exactly, exactly. You have to know how to, how to keep it, keep it moving, keep it entertained, you know, and, and it's hard. I'm not yeah, going to lie yeah, to you. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Now, I have, I had the, the, I was blessed to say, uh, as to say, the Cardinals have made a couple of ringmasters, literally, like, like, you know, they said, okay, you're going to be a good ringmaster. You, they give you tips, uh -huh. that, you know, how to stand, mm -hmm. how to talk, how to act, how to, the hand gesture, everything, everything, everything. And they've actually done that with me. You know, because I grab the microphone here and there, say hello, ladies and gentlemen, and all that stuff. But when you're standing here for two and a half hours, you have to, you, you, sometimes you forget that right. you're, you know, you're here. And, and all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> right, yeah. It's like energy, energy. Yes, you energy, yeah. energy. And you keep things rolling. And Which with are, live performances, I mean, things change. Things, exactly. you never know what's going And that's happen. what some people, some people, it's like you guys. You guys are live. Mm -hmm. And and uh, you're standing here. All of a sudden, something falls off. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, you, your your microphone falls yeah. off. Uh, uh, your hats can fall off. Uh, you never know. You know, you never know what exactly can go wrong. It's the same thing as in the circus. Mm -hmm. But people got to remember, it's life. Life yeah. is the last of the few family entertainment. The entire family. We've had the youngest. The youngest ever attendee was 16 days old. Oh, oh my wow. God. Yeah. And the oldest. Uh, we had a young lady celebrate her 104th birthday at the It's circus. for everybody. Basically, the circus it's is for us. everybody. And yes. Bardo, we're going to come see you. You're, you're starting yes. tonight. You can see Bardo in yes. action. We don't want to miss that. You look amazing. We're so you excited do. to see the circus.